हेलो एवरी वन हैबिट्स गुड हैबिट्स बैड हैबिट्स यस वी हैव गुड हैबिट्स एंड बैड हैबिट्स टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस फाइव पॉइजनस बैड हैबिट्स विच विल डिस्ट्रॉय यूर लाइफ यस दीज फाइव हैबिट्स इफ यू हैव इवन वन और टू ऑल्सो प्लीज किक इट अवॉइड इट डिस्ट्रॉय इट वॉट यू कैन डू इट फर्स्ट लेटेस्ट डिस्कस ईच एंड एवरी पॉइजनस हैबिट then you will come to know what you have to avoid it the first habit is that procrastination procrastination means postponement not doing the things properly we have a lot of plans we have a lot of ideas we have a lot of ambitions i want to do this i want to achieve this but when it comes to the implementation we won't do it we always avoid it tomorrow i'll see day after tomorrow i'll see and that tomorrow day after tomorrow will never come back in our life that is why avoid this procrastination what you want you do it you have planned it write it in a book write it in a uh, board or somewhere and implement it that's it never postpone it never procrastinate it this is one of the very bad habit second habit is that giving complaints giving complaint this is one of the useless habit complaint giving complaint only few times it will work out always giving complaint that i don't have this i don't have that this facility is not given to me you could have given me more money you could have given me this facility so like giving complaints are not going to work out and complaining about co employee complaining about neighbors complaining about the boss and all these things also stop doing it 10% it will work out but rest of the time things you have to think about yourself only remember that no one is perfect everyone is having some kind of bad things good things also you have to focus only on the good things but not on the bad things ignore it don't give any complaint then your mind will be cool okay it's okay chalta i know this person is like this only then if you have this habit you'll be always cool and third hobby bad hobby is that overthinking yes thinking 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 is not going to give solution always to some extent it is okay but not all the time if thinking is going to give the solution then entire world will not work everyone will sit at home and they'll start thinking is it going to work out no so that is why overthinking is not good always remember we are temporary guest on this planet not permanent this temporary life is small one why do you think much why do you worry about anything why people are thinking you know first of all going into the flashbacks it happened she said it and it happened like this and he said he did so this past tense ignore it past come out of the past and live in the present and don't worry about future also what is going to happen i may lose job i may lose money my kids may leave me and this is going to happen accident may happen this is going to happen like negative thoughts ignore it don't worry about even future also much plan it work out it and just go ahead but maximum living in the present is going to stop overthinking overthinking is a very bad habit so it will give us a strain here remembering and fourth hobby is that comparison so this is also one of the useless and very bad habit comparison always compare comparison here i must tell you good comparison bad comparison good comparison means he has come up to that level even i too want to i too want to when you have some kind of uh, uh, hobby or when you have some kind of a good thing like i want to achieve it then it's okay but he is having jealous and she is having this is going this is happening why she is coming up why their kids are good why not my kids what happened to my kids like this comparison most of the time it happens in between the colleagues of the same company or neighbors relatives in between brothers sisters everywhere and do you have a person who is just sitting beside you to compare are you not going to find someone who is very top level you compare with them then that will be the positive comparison so comparison please stop it this is very bad habit if you want to compare compare it with yourself 
what i was what i am where i want to be if you compare it yourself definitely you will have a progress positive progress and the last point is that many people feel that i want to be in safe zone what is safe zone can you define what is safe zone the first thing is that some people says that if i can have a crores of money that is safe zone some people says that if i have a secured job that's a safe zone some people say if i have power that's a safe zone some people that says that if i construct a very big beautiful building then i'll be on safe zone nothing is safe zone please remember it do you think a billionaire is always on safe zone and he is happy he has his own problems like there is no safe zone always be ready to face the problems if you are not facing problem means you are going in a wrong way this is said by swami vekananda ji please remember this problems are quite common every day you have to face it every day you have to solve it and just go ahead but don't think about i want to be in safe zone no if you are not in safe zone if you are facing problems if you are solving problems you'll become more strong to face any kind of problems that kind of determination you'll get it by facing the problems these are the simple five poisonous habits which you have to avoid it which are ruining your life which are destroying your life let me give you a recap the first one is that procrastination and giving complaints overthinking comparison and safe zone these are the five points just think about it which point is related to you avoid it slowly avoid it and always remember at the end one good quotation i wanted to give you god never gives you bonuses or curses no boons and no curses given by the god god will give you only the opportunities only opportunities and turning this opportunities as a boon or as a curse it is in your hands valuable quotation please remember god never gives you any boons or curses only he gives you opportunities but turning this into a boon or curse it is in your hands who will turn into boon if you work out if you work hard and if you focus on that if you practice it then automatically that opportunity will be a boon otherwise it will be a curse you are wasting it you are you are not using it that's it this is the important five areas poisonous habits where you have to avoid it hope the talk is useful thank you everyone for spending your valuable time see you in the next class with another interesting topic and uh, uh, next class probably i'll be taking one interesting story that will be useful in your life with a moral story so till that period stay connected and keep smiling and keep shining good luck